Downright Dives is a three-man team of dumpster divers who go through the trash looking for discarded valuables. They comb through a series of dumpsters without incident, mostly coming across old rotten food. They're searching through the last couple of dumpsters when one of them makes a startling discovery. No, 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 no. It's moved in there, guys. Guys, guys, guys. It's moved in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Neither of his two friends believe that there could have been somebody lying at the bottom of the dumpster. They just have to take a closer look for themselves. That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, no. go, 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 go. The camera doesn't get a clean shot, but you can hear a man pop up from underneath the boxes and screams that he owns everything inside of the dumpster. According to the description, it was a homeless man who continued to come after them and even got into a physical altercation off camera. I'm on the fence with this one since we never get a chance to see the homeless person in question. Also, living in a dumpster is a stereotype about homeless people that is rarely true, so this encounter is very unlikely. Let me know if you agree. Timothy Bartlett is exploring a water park that's haunted by a former guest named Billy. Hi, is anybody here? Hi, Billy. I'm here. Things are about to get real creepy real fast. Watch. Could you move something again for me? Oh. Holy sh A chair moves on its own accord upon Timothy's request for Billy the Ghost to move an object and prove himself to be real. Paranormal activity is possible, but the low quality resolution could easily hide a string if there was one. This was not done on purpose as the resolution is average quality for a 2012 phone camera video, so maybe it's real. This YouTuber works in an office building with a reputation for being haunted, so he waits until nighttime to start recording a video for his channel. At 3 a.m., the lights go out at random. Look closely and you'll see a shadowy figure dart across the doorway moments prior. It's so a short while later, the speakers one room over turn on by themselves and play a haunting melody. Watch his reaction and tell me if you think he's acting surprised or if this really happened by itself. Oh, I think you can time it or something. No, I can't freaking time it. Just when things are getting back to normal, the lights cut out again and this time if you look closely, you'll see a figure with long hair over its face standing in the doorway. Elliot Mosqueda has a motion sensor cam in his living room that at first glance appears to go off for no reason. Look at the television though to see someone crossing the room. I can see the black reflection of this square poster in the television. So it definitely really was the same background. The question is if it's real or edited. Is this the trail of a ghost? Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit, Jen the Hab explains, My dad took a video of a helium balloon floating around the house to scare my kids, but captured something else. The video shows the helium balloon in question, drifting in the corner of the room. As it floats there, suddenly a white, unidentifiable object flies forward and another swings past. According to Jen the Hab, her father didn't see the wisp until he watched the video back. Redditor Mr. Blistered Lips writes, If not paranormal, I'd suggest a flash from reflected sunlight off of a car outside hitting the lens, but the Redditor counters that. According to her, the back deck looks over a conservation area where no cars pass. While some viewers still insist it's a reflection, others think something is definitely moving in front of the camera. But is it paranormal? What is your wild guess? Personally, I'm going with the first option. Mr. Biggs is a giant iguana who is not behaving normally. He hardly recognizes his owner upon entering his room. And yes, Mr. Biggs does happen to have his own room. Um. See, there he is. He tried to run. 
The large lizard fits a single finger squarely in his mouth and clamps down, but a closer look reveals it's actually just an empty glove at the end of a ruler. As it turns out, Mr. Biggs was just hungry and not trying to take over. He might have even mistaken the glove for a big hunk of lettuce. Look at him here at 3 minutes and 7 seconds. You would never have expected this could be the same Mr. Biggs as before. Yeah, he doesn't even care. Can wrangle him up. Alright, I know that My Little Pony is not exactly the most frightening thing on earth, but pay less attention to the brand of the toy and more attention to what it's doing by itself without being touched. I guess the obvious explanation is that someone is underneath the table using a magnet and a lot of people say the same thing. However, here's another video showing that there is no magnet on the bottom of the toy, so no one knows for certain. A paranormal explorer named Yash. Sadiq brings us a ghost sighting all the way from Tamil Nadu, a large state in South India. This abandoned house has sat rotting for years until their investigation reveals the presence of something lurking within. <laughs> A dark and mysterious figure watches them from the other side of a wall and then retreats. It looks like a real ghost sighting at first, but look again and you'll see a small edit here at 2 minutes and 33 seconds. It could be a camera glitch from Paranormal Energy. However, I think the real reason for this edit is because they didn't like the way it looked the first time and decided to record the scene again. A YouTuber named Yvonne hears a noise coming from her kitchen and grabs her phone to record. After 15 seconds of silence, a cabinet door opens to let an item drop onto the counter. Oh my god. The obvious answer is that someone pulled a string to open it. However, the cabinet opens to the right and no one is on that side. I guess someone could have been directly underneath. But when Yvonne gets closer, you can see nobody is on the ground. So I'm not sure what to think. So there's a YouTube channel called EB30X Fitness. 34 videos, one year old account, not exactly the first place you'd go looking for paranormal content, but there's one creepy workout video they can't explain. Five, six, seven. Did anybody see that orb fly behind Karen? Anybody see that orb? A wavy light goes over his client and he puts everything on hold to point it out. Honestly, it looks like a bug to me. He says it's a ghost caught on film though. I don't think they're doing this for publicity. It has less than a thousand views in their fitness studio Facebook page in Illinois. Already has 300,000 followers. So I think he's being sincere when he says it's a ghost orb. What do you think about this paranormal activity? It's pretty creepy, but like I said, Maybe a bug. Redditor Wayne Bruce 11 was wondering why the TV was on in the morning and on a channel no one in the household ever watched. That's when he checked his security camera. It captured this at around 3 in the morning. Something has turned on the news. Well, I think this could definitely just be a connection or technical problem. The Redditor says they've been dealing with this ghost for 15 years. At least, the ghost's worst roommate faux pas is only late night TV watching. Susan Payton Wine is enjoying some quality time with her family when she and her husband both notice something grab the attention of their infant toddler. Oh, mommy, do it. 
The child's face changes from amusement to confusion as he apparently turns to watch something pass by. Then, moments later, an orb silently streaks overhead. Even stranger are the song lyrics playing in the background. Something appears to walk past the child and possibly exit the room just as the children's song announces, Say Bye Bye. A highway patrol building in Truckee, California was unprepared for one of the scariest moments ever caught on CCTV, a surprise bear inspection. The animal gets up to look inside and pushes down on the extra large doorknob. It looks like an act of sheer luck but then it knows to pull the door towards itself to get inside, which is just creepy beyond belief. You can see from its reflection of the window that this bear gets pretty far into the station. Approximately 29 seconds pass before it's spotted and chased. The curious critter nudges open the door to get away from two officers, and there really isn't much they can do except clear the parking lot and probably call wildlife authorities. The way this bear can open doors so easily seems well practiced and makes me wonder how many different human houses it's visited. Hopefully they catch it soon and relocate it someplace far away. A YouTuber named Trey P is wandering around an empty graveyard somewhere in New Orleans all by himself when he hears this voice out of nowhere. He claims that the voice belongs to a ghost, though to be honest, it might just be his. The only way to tell if this video is real would be to have Trey P say a sentence and then compare his voice with the voice in the video. A man was fast asleep in bed when a new type of alarm woke him. Posted to TikTok by Mr. List Paranormal, the man is seen lying on his back when suddenly he flips onto his stomach. He thrashes around as though trying to escape something, and then that something takes it to the next level. The man his feet are lifted skyward as he continues to try and free himself. At last, he is left alone, and then he turns around, gazing forward at nothing. Then he sits calmly cross-legged, as if in a trance. Many in the comments say this is why you should keep both feet under the blanket, but for others, this video is inspiring. TikToker KM107 writes, I'm so doing this to people. Sounds like he'd be a pretty mischievous ghost. YouTube channel Dayton Haunted Explorers dive into the Fairfield County Infirmary and the amount of activity they get is intense. After setting a camera up in the infirmary, they capture a series of unexplained sounds. They capture even more activity in the attic. Later, even more EVPs are captured. Then, as they attempt to communicate with the spirits, the windows start to rattle. One of the crew enters this room and she captures a blurry figure on camera. After feeling like she was grabbed a couple times, the crew packs it up to leave, but the spirits aren't done yet.
Were the spirits trying to get them? They may not have succeeded this time, but I'm guessing they'll have better luck with the people who enter this haunted place next. There's a YouTube channel called Happy Life that ironically explores some of the most miserably haunted places in all of Pakistan. Happy Life began as a spiritual advice channel, and now they hope to better understand the darker side of spirituality through paranormal investigations like this one. This time, the Happy Life crew intends to to check out a haunted school where numerous students were said to have lost their lives. Early on, they encounter a poltergeist who is intent on chasing them away. The first encounter sounds like it's throwing plates, but then it graduates to a heavy bottle that could have really done them harm. Doors also repeatedly close as if something really doesn't want them to go any further. But the more I look at it, the more I think the cameraman is responsible for all of this rather than a ghost. The objects always just so happen to be thrown from the cameraman's direction, a strange coincidence, and the camera person always seems to be within arm's reach whenever the doors close, so I think he is either kicking it or else pushing it shut with his free hand. But when they get to the very top of the school, they find this mysterious red streak of dried up liquid overlooking the balcony. So even though parts of this video may have possibly been embellished, perhaps a student really did lose their life here after all. The situation only gets weirder when they come across a star in the hall that could have been used as a ritual or simply drawn by them to make the video scarier. I think it could be real though, because look what happens soon after one of them kneels in the middle. The way it echoes down the hall sounds forcefully loud and possibly real. One of them explores a room, while the other records from outside the window. No one else is nearby, so then tell me who is responsible for what happens next. They decide the inside is too dangerous to go any further and stick to the outer perimeter. Eventually, they come across a shallow well that gives off a residual negative energy that could be left over from a terrible and tragic event. Something compels them to climb inside, and sure enough, the dirt has been freshly disturbed. An ore passes left to right over the small grave as he plucks this fragment of human and holds it to the camera. Samuel Porter lives near an abandoned house that he wants to explore, so he and his friends take a short walk and soon find themselves standing outside of its gnarled wooden door. Someone has gone to great lengths to keep trespassers away. The door is locked and the window they get in through is covered in barbed wire. The inside of the old cottage is filthy and collapsing. Large sections of the floor have been eaten away, but they curiously press on. Samuel Porter pokes his head through a hole in the ceiling to see what's on the second floor, a decision he will remember forever. The first thing he notices are two sticks that have been formed into a hanging cross for some reason. <laughs> then to the left he sees the knotted rope. I did notice one thing about this creepy scenario. If this is an actual noose meant for hanging purposes, then it looks to be set the wrong height for someone to use on themselves. I'm curious to find out what you think happened in this room. To me, it unfortunately looks pretty obvious. Better do it just to be safe. Published by Scary Chills G, this short clip was captured in May of 2010. A man is on his computer facing his webcam, when behind him on the bed, his jacket moves. As he turns to look, suddenly his wardrobe bursts open on the other side. He springs from his seat and goes to check it out, seemingly finding nothing. He turns back toward his computer and then sprints from the room in fear, without further explanation. What did he see there? Or was he afraid of what saw him? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.